yeah, we are on live now. Uh, let us wait for uh, one or two minutes so that let all the participants join in our live program. Okay, I'll start. Vanakam, good morning to all. Myself, Dr. A. Ramesh, Principal, Chennai Insert Technology. On behalf of Chennai Insert Technology, I extend a very warm welcome to all the participants for this wonderful program on how to crack JE. Today with us, we have four panel members who have already cracked the JE and succeeded in JE, and now they are studying in the premier institution of our country, different IITs. So on behalf of every one of us, I extend a very warm welcome to all the four panel members for today's panel discussion. Welcome you all. Dear participants, Chennai of Technology was started in the year 2010 by our respected chairman, Mr. P. Sriram, who is also a first generation entrepreneur. He is also the chairman and managing director of MK Group of Companies, which is mainly manufacturing automobile components and supplying to all OEMs across the globe. Out of his vast industrial experience, he has established this institution during 2010. And over the past one decade, the college has grown in all dimensions. As a part of its institutional social responsibility, Chennai of Technology is conducting a number of programs for the benefit of its own students and also, in general, the student's community. It regularly conducts career guidance program for the students who are currently pursuing in their plus one and plus two, because normally, the students will have a lot of doubts and a lot of confusion on wh what career to select after completion of the plus two, whether to select engineering or medicine or some other profession. And after having decided, yes, engineering will be my career, again, another confusion will come, which branch of study to select, whether to go with computer science or mechanical or mechatronics or civil like that. So in order to give a proper guidance to those students, Chennai Institute of Technology regularly conducts the career guidance program. Then apart from that, many students uh, will be having an aspiration to get into admission into India's top premier institutions like IITs, IIITs, then NIT. So for that, they have to take up the JE examination, JE mains and as well as JE advanced. Our institution is a, a recognized center by national testing agencies for conducting the J examination. So every year, around 2,000 students are visiting our campus for writing their J examinations. So in order to give an awareness for those students about the J examination, we have started an exclusively program under the name Dream Career for the J aspirants. So we have invited a few career consultants and with them we have conducted few programs and also we have invited the students who have already succeeded in the JE and currently pursuing their higher studies in NITs and IITs to conduct the program. So already we have conducted two. I request all of you to register and to participate. The exact date and timing will be circulated through a poster to all of you. Uh, and also uh, we are planning to conduct a coding have a workshop for all the uh, participants. The, uh, irrespective of uh, the branches, what you are going to select in your engineering, coding skill is very much essential. Coding skill only will make you a perfect engineering professional in the future. So for that, 
uh, in in association with the University of Texas at Dallas, USA, we are conducting a coding a workshop uh, by the name Encoder for all the students who are currently pursuing, currently studying in plus one and plus two. So this program will come in from coming Monday, uh, the not coming Monday, the next Monday that is from 24th of May, and this will be conducted for 30 days. Every day the program will be conducted for one hour. So from Monday to Friday for one hour the program will be conducted, and on Saturday uh, live examples and case studies will be given to you, and that will be taken by uh, experts from industries. At the end of the program, all participants will be uh, get, will be getting an international certification from University of Texas. So University of Texas at Dallas will give you the certification, and after that we are going to conduct one coding contest also. So I request uh, all the uh, participants who are joined in today's program to register for that coding program and they get benefit. Like that, Channing of Technology will be continuously conducting a lot of programs for the benefit of uh, the students who are currently pursuing uh, either in a plus one or in plus two. So in that line, today we are having this wonderful program, a panel discussion with the JE toppers and they will be telling about their journey, how they have taken up their J exam, and also they will give lot of inputs and suggestions for you uh, to improve your profession. So I, 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 I would like to extend a formal welcome to all the four uh, panelists who are uh, uh, sitting along with me. Uh, first, I welcome Mr. Raja Gop uh, Gopalan, who is uh, pursuing his program uh, in IIT. Welcome, Mr. Raja Gopalan. And then I extend a very warm welcome to Mr. Kirtan, who is also currently pursuing his engineering program in IIT. Welcome, Mr. Kirtan. Uh, the next, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Mr. Srijan, uh, who is also pursuing his uh, program at IIT. Uh, welcome, Mr. Srijan. And also, I extend a very warm welcome to Mr. P. Kartigayan, who is also pursuing his uh, uh, engineering program in IIT. Welcome, Mr. Kartigayan. I also extend a very warm welcome to all the participants. Uh, so you can listen uh, to, uh, to to all of the four and uh, whatever queries, whatever the doubts you have, you can very well type in your chat box. And at the end of the program, all your queries will be answered by all the panel members. Now I hand over the session to Mr. Uh, Karthigaya uh, to continue and take it forward. Welcome, Mr. Karthigaya. Thanks a lot, sir. So yeah, my name is R. Karthigaya. At class sixth, what happened was actually one of my teachers recommended my parents to join me in some good coaching center because they saw some potential in me. And then, but even though they joined me early, I took it easy for I guess four years. Even in tenth exam, I could not clear NTSC, tenth standard. And then, uh, in eleventh standard, I started taking it seriously. So. Uh, we had so many good faculties who helped us for our preparation. Mm, they cleared all doubts and all that stuff. But more importantly, uh, whenever we had a doubt, we could actually schedule uh, doubts with them personally. But most of you guys, since due to this uh, unfortunate pandemic situation, I think you'll be facing problems with clearing your doubts. Right? So, uh, but we did not have the problem. So. I was telling that uh, uh, more than uh, like doing more problems, you need to clear all your doubts because while doing the actual exam, you need to be, your mind should be clear. Okay, so let me continue. In class 11th, they started uh, studying seriously for JE. That too, after the first six months, uh, it started because we uh, had this class test between different, different batches. So, the competition was hectic and serious. So all of us started to give it a all. And then uh, they kept chapter tests in between all classes so that we could have clarity in each chapter and find out our weak spots. And then so that we could ask questions and develop our strength instead of like, we should remove our weakness completely. And then in 11th, I gave KVPY exam. I could not qualify. It was really hard. Like I did not prepare for 12th syllabus also. And then uh, during, uh, I guess, 12th beginning, they started giving more number of tests, like uh, more than what they gave in 11th itself. 
Mm, and ah uh, yeah, that one. Uh, so we had uh, three faculties. Okay, one for physics, one for chemistry, and one for uh, maths. But for chemistry, we had uh, like uh, same faculty for organic and inorganic, and one faculty for physical chemistry. Okay. So what used to happen is uh, batches were all going in parallel, right? So uh, one of us, like. Uh, for example, my batch, when we are doing organic chemistry, the other batch did physical and inorganic chemistry. Like, you understood, right? It was uh, simultaneous, but it was not same. So, what happened was we had different, different chapters as tests. Yeah, my coaching institute is pretty dumb that way. So, that it went like that. And finally, when it all came, then we started having tests. And then the competition was really nice. Like uh, people just to, you know, uh, like we used to discuss with each other after the paper, after the exam was over, we used to sit with our friends nicely in the hall, okay? There used to be a hall full with AC. And then we used to sit there for hours, like discussing the papers because most of them won't even leave. And then after we finish, the security guy will come, he'll tell, the time is already nine, please leave. And then we leave. And then the next time we'll have tests like that, we kept having comparisons. And then we kept having tally marks of who was the highest for most number of times. It used to keep changing, okay? Like one guy was pretty good at physics, one guy was pretty good at maths, like that. So in my experience, more this by being tensed and then all that stuff. And then the main thing, I guess, is to be having a clear mind before exam, during the exam, I actually. Because when I wrote J.E. Main in January, right, last year, what happened was a few questions I could not solve. I panicked and then uh, my rank got reduced very drastically. I only got 7,200 All India Rank in Mains. Can you believe it? Okay, then what happened was in advance, my faculty is told, uh, don't uh, like get the tension, let the tension get the better of you. And I did cool, like, I was like, I already applied to some colleges in, uh, through normal uh, TNEA counseling and I got some good colleges also. So I was like, IIT, let me get it or not get it. I'm just going to give it my all. So only when you have that kind of attitude, you can do up to your full potential. Like how many ever books you solve, how much ever practice you have. Once you are actually scared in the exam center, even God can't help you. So the thing is, the uh, most important thing is to have a very cool and calm mind. Yeah. And uh, same thing happened for me in KUPY exam in 11th also. In, during 12th standard, I gave KUPY again with a cool mind. I cleared KUPY. What I'm telling you is uh, more than any of our preparation stories, this is the more most important lesson. You have to keep a very cool and calm mind while giving exams. Because if you don't keep it... Uh, like, yeah, you know what will happen. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay, no, thank, you again. Uh, thank you. Thank you for giving your, uh, uh, about uh, telling about your journey and also giving some inputs. Now I request uh, Mr. Rajagopal uh, to take the proceedings. Thank you, sir. Hi, guys. I'm Raju Opalan. I'm from IIT Bilai. Uh, previous year only I cleared my JE advance and went into IIT. I'm a fresher. Okay, now let me share my story. Uh, I started my preparation when I from 10th standard, I guess so. Uh, first, this IIT concept was introduced to me by my friends. My friends were going to coaching center from 9th class. They were like IIT, the biggest institute in India. The the like. Everything is best in IIT. If you study in IIT, your life will get your life will get settled. Then I started researching about IIT in the internet. Then I got to see its campuses. I was literally amused by every campus. Like I I first started my IIT coaching just because for the campus. Then 10th standard, I did not even take my coaching seriously. Then I went for hostel in 12th standard, 11th and 12th standard. Okay, the 11th standard. Uh, like I was pretty heavy minded back then. Okay, like I can solve everything. Everything is easy to me. 
So what I did was there will be a shuffling test when you enter into a coaching center. I totally messed up in this shuffling past batch, but you know, you have some potential, then you will have some kind of depression, right? I went into it. Then I had some faculties who motivated me regularly. Like they will call me separately. They will motivate me like Raja Gopal, you can't do, I know you will like, they gave me some sort of, uh, confidence. Okay. The, uh, and I constantly worked regularly. Uh, almost five hours a day I studied except coaching. Okay. Except class taking classes. I studied up to five hours a day. If you want to crack JE, you have to study at least five hours a day. Okay. Then what I did, then I got into the first batch in 12 standard from last batch to the first batch. Like it happens one in a thousand times. Okay. A person in thousand only gets from a last batch to first batch, but I did it just because of my faculties who gave me confidence which was enough for me for, from going to the, from the last batch to the first batch. Then I get like, then I got some distractions. Then again, messed up in 12th standard. Okay. When I was about to take my first mains, I had some family issues, which completely missed by J mains rank. Like my fellow friend Kartikeyan said he got around 7,000 when he missed, messed up in a day mains. but I messed up and got around 44,000 in J mains first mains. Then literally I was under depression. I only got some colleges in Anna University. Like, uh, I can name few, right? Gindi campus and PSG, but I was not satisfied with them. But to be frank, I was not even in an idea to go to Anna University. I just want to go into an IIT or an NIT. So uh, the next thing I did was J advance. I thought, why NIT? Well, I have IIT. Then I concentrated for the next one month completely day and night. Okay, I cleared my concepts. I thoroughed my concepts. I cleared all my doubts with my faculties over internet. Then I took J advanced with the open mind. Like if I mess this also up, I will take a break. Okay. I will take a year break. Then again, try it next year. But what I did, I cracked, I cracked J advanced this year and got into an IIT. The thing is simple. Hope is the best of all things. One should have hope and also should have confidence and also should do hard work. If you do all these three things, 100% you will get into an IIT or an IIT or a prestigious in institute in India. That's all. For, that, th this is my story. And I need to speak about distractions because distractions reduce my ranks and also my fellow friends. So I had some best set of guys. They they are good in studies, actually very good in studies, but they messed up their ranks just because of distraction. You know which distraction I'm talking about, obviously, we are teenage guys. But you should not let those distractions take you away from your goals, okay? Distractions are fine. Uh, uh, okay, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Rajiv. Uh, now I invite uh, uh, Mr. Srijan, uh, sorry, Mr. Kirtan Reddy to continue oh thank you sir and hello guys hope you're all fine during these difficult times uh, i'm kirtan i'm from i'm currently studying in iit hyderabad at present and i basically started my je preparation in eighth class by i came to know about iits by my parents uh, till then i didn't even know what iits are like that then I have joined, I have started my preparation since eighth class. And from eighth to 10th, we just learned some basic concepts only, like uh, very, very basic. We didn't go into depth and all. And just uh, we enjoyed that and go on, go on smoothly like that. I didn't even know how much competition was there at that time. And I am thinking that I can crack it easily. I'm in that mindset of that. After coming to 11th class, I realized that there is a very huge competition in that. So I have to work more on that. And there are many huge depth concepts also. So I started my prepar preparation seriously from 11th class. And at first, uh, six, uh, at first starting point of time, we are uh, concentrating on more concepts only. Like uh, mass means we practiced uh, uh, more problems because for mass we have very less concepts and how, how much we can practice that much we'll get advantage for mathematics and for physics uh, 
i just concentrated only on concepts on the first one year uh, i didn't care much about the problems and during my revision time i gave most of the time for problems only for physics so the main point is for physics both concepts and problems are very very important for physics and at the start i am like that i i am very i'm not that intelligent i just worked hard to get used to do problems and to get ideas and i consulted my faculty to uh, ask doubts and clearing all my doubts and working more and more problems so that i can make my brain sharp and so my peeps are very very intelligent than me they are i uh, uh, at a point of time i hope that i can i can't cope up with them but uh, Uh, i keep myself motivated motivated again the uh, uh, after when our revision started this pandemic has entered or not the exam properly but uh, i worked hard and cleared my i worked hard and very like faculty were very close with us also so we cleared all my doubts and then we just uh, we the one thing we have to do while we are writing the exam is like our mindset and our strategies while we are writing the exam like uh, when we we have to pr- we have practiced more many more mock tests and what i have done is i have i at the starting stage of we are taking mock tests i have taken uh, i have done my experiments like um, following new strategies like uh, starting with the chemistry which i love a lot uh, then starting with physics then starting with maths once i once i started with uh, maths paper Uh, the one thing is first we have to come clear all our questions which we know very well and which we know about the concepts very well that all thing we have to clear it first then we have to come to the concepts which we are not sure about and we have to do do that in the remaining time that's what the different strategies i followed uh, during my preparation and at the final end uh, in the mains the main thing is we have to concentrate on the time time management and our strategy seeing on the paper we have to decide a strategy to how to follow that and how we should approach the paper so that we can complete that in time uh, in mains i was not that successful in following the strategy i tried my level best and secured a rank around 3500 and in the advance uh, when one month i completely totally focused because it's, it's much more tougher and uh, uh, it's a uh, it's much more tougher so in finally in the advance we i have there are two there will be two papers for advance uh, the first thing is uh, right after writing the first paper while going to the second paper don't panic don't think about the first paper and how you wrote that you should not think of even that and finally just follow your strategies everyone should have their own strategies uh, it's not like that one strategy will work for others try to develop your own strategies and try to improve yourself by clearing your lot doubts uh, either through the internet or if you have some faculty to help you uh, you can clear all your doubts uh, like uh, i love chemistry so much uh, situation at that time so please keep all these things in mind and prepare well for the je and i the thing is while we do our strategies well and completely work hard we can score secured good ranks I, and my i have tried my level best and i have secured a 1615 rank in je advance and currently i'm studying in it hyderabad uh, like uh, if we the one thing is don't do the qu- mistakes in the questions which we know very well like doing some simple calculation mistake Uh, we we will lose many marks and there are negative marks also it will get very 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 affected for you guys it is very important that you do not do the silly mistakes and calculation mistakes please practice the calculations more and more and keep that mind because one question also will get you will get your rank very very down so please keep that mind and practice more to help you should you that you won't be doing any calculation mistakes in the final exam that's all for thank you Uh, uh, thanks, uh, Mr. Kartikeyan. Uh, now let me welcome Mr. Srijan to continue. So, uh, hello, friends. My name is Srijan, and I am a first-year undergraduate student at IIT. Um, 
pursuing BS uh, physics. Uh, so I was first introduced to JE in my class nine. Uh, basically, I used to read these popular science books back then, like uh, you know Michio Kaku or uh, Carl Sagan books uh, like this. And I made up my mind that I would pursue science. Like uh, that was the uh, thing then. Uh, though my parents wanted me to pursue uh, arts group, like uh, my father wanted me to do economics. He, thought that I would do, uh, you know, fair, uh, do pretty well in the arts group. Uh, but, you know, I convinced him to science. And uh, yeah, I basically started my JE preparation back then. But uh, I was not too focused into JE. I was like, uh, everything is chill. Let's do, let's learn things. Um, let's make friends. Uh, I was like that. Uh, then when I joined, uh, this J coaching at 11th, uh, then I started a, a serious preparation. Uh, so I'll tell you some of my mistakes, which I feel that if I hadn't made them, uh, it would have given me a much better rank than what I scored, uh, than what I got. So the first uh, mistake I would uh, like to highlight is that in 11th class, I completely neglected chemistry. Uh, I'm not a person who uh, sorts of, uh, you know, remembers thing or who will practice more often. I'm more of a person who wants to learn new concepts. And uh, that is a mistake I did. So I devoted all the time of chemistry to, uh, you know, read some sort of unnecessary physics books. Like uh, I used to read Halder Resnick back then, which is completely not necessary for JNA you will do pretty good without it. Um, so that actually spoiled my chemistry. And I always used to think that we'll cope up in uh, second year, but that cope up period will never come. Just trust me, don't neglect anything. Uh, take things with the flow. Um, and after that, uh, the other mistake was that you have to keep practicing. And there's a trade-off between uh, the number of problems and the quality of problems. So I would say that uh, do not blindly solve problems. Take some hints from your teacher. Uh, do not ask for the solution directly. Because knowing the solution does not mean that you solved the problem. Uh, solving problem means that the solution should come from your brain. It should come from within you. And uh, that is what would be required in JE. Uh, because see, all the problems uh, or all the questions they ask in JE is completely new. Uh, they make it every year. So you won't find them anywhere. Uh, the only way you can solve them is by uh, spontaneously using your brain uh, at that time. So you need to practice that uh, right uh, through your preparation. Uh, and in my uh, second year, uh, I was fortunate enough that uh, my physics teacher and my chemistry teacher and uh, maths teacher, so they took a lot of personal care of me. Uh, so they, they uh, sort of worked very hard with me. But then uh, this uh, pandemic came and uh, by that time I sort of improved pretty well. And I was confident that I would uh, qualify uh, JE. Till that point of time, uh, I did not have any uh, confidence that I'll make it to uh, IITs. But after my teacher's help, uh, I thought uh, that I'll get uh, a good rank. But then the pandemic came, and we all went home. And at home, I was completely lost. Like, uh, what was happening is these people were postponing the exam, and I took life. I sort of started chilling out. I watched a lot of movies. I watched a lot of TV series. And the whole preparation thing got a back backtrack um, with great difficulty. Uh, so I like first mains, I wrote it uh, while in the coaching center. And it was the best exam I ever gave in my life. It was an exam I gave it to my full potential. Uh, after that, the second mains, I just wrote casually because uh, you know, I was like sort of focused on advanced. Um, but by the time these things backtracked and uh, 
by the time second mains results came and i knew that uh, the rank was pretty good so i got something around 3600 uh, so i started you know uh, recalibrating my uh, preparation strategy uh, i went and i learned chemistry again and again so i think i read i read ncrt about uh, three or four times and i made short notes uh, i did a lot of work uh, but even then you know because of that small uh, like because of the near exam preparation chemistry was never up to the mark so i was completely dependent on physics and maths uh, but what happened is uh, this advanced exam chemistry was the easiest of all three and uh, you know, despite my uh, good preparation in physics and uh, maths, uh, because the difficulty levels were uh, soaring high, uh, I was not able to, you know, perform or score that well in uh, um, maths and physics uh, uh, because of the difficulty level. And because I am uh, pretty weak in chemistry, though the chemistry part was easy, I was not able to score well. So things were not up to uh, the potential. Uh, so I know like people whose chemistry score is more than the sum of uh, physics and math scores. Uh, so chemistry has that power. So my only request would be uh, do not neglect your weak subject, like especially if it's chemistry, because uh, it is the one that will save you at the end of the day. Uh, because no matter how hard they make chemistry, uh, strategy that suits you and make sure that you test it and improve during the mock uh, exams okay uh, for mains i would uh, recommend this nt app they uh, have very good uh, mock tests and they uh, help you to simulate the exam uh, scenario uh, the whole agenda of uh, giving mock tests is that your brain is habituated to the conditions of the exam so uh, that is uh, important and uh, on the exam day uh, like even before exam day uh, the period between mains and advanced is a sort of crucial period uh, because you cannot let your uh, mains rank affect your preparation of advanced okay uh, you must realize that j mains and j advanced test completely different skills uh, so JE Advanced, for example, asks you very, very innovative problems. Okay, uh, you need to uh, start solving things from scratch. Uh, remembering formulas or uh, practicing a lot of models would never help you in advance, uh, at least in most of the questions. But whereas JE Mains, J Mains is a more of a, I would say, speed solving uh, exam than the one which tests concept. Obviously, uh, like some questions are uh, quite conceptual in it also. But most of them can be solved by, uh, you know, remembering some formulas or, uh, uh, you know, their sort of basic concept uh, applicability. Uh, so mains and advanced, uh, they test completely different skill sets. And you cannot let uh, mains result affect your advanced preparation. Uh, they are completely uh, exclusive of each other. And uh, during the exam day, uh, keep a cool mind uh, before uh, the exam and uh, sleep well at night. Uh, sleep well at night uh, the, the night before the exam. Uh, I did not sleep, so I like slept off at I think two or two thirty. And for exam, uh, somehow uh, I was wide awake and I was doing pretty good. But after exam, I slept like anything. So yeah, like make sure that you get good sleep for your mind is cool. Um, that's it, I guess. Uh, so all the best guys. And I know this uh, time is difficult, but you have done a fantastic job uh, keeping your motivation up. So thank you. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mr. Sujan. Uh, so I think now it is time for us to take up the queries uh, from the participants. Uh, I will just, uh, some of them already have uh, uh, sent their queries through our chat box. 
uh, I will just read out the queries and uh, I think you can start answering. Uh, so first query from Mr. E. Ivan Surya. How did you identify your IIT dream? I think all the four can answer for this <laughs> individually, right? Uh, how did you identify your IIT dream? Um, so I'll, I'll start then. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mr. So, Surya, uh, you can uh, Yes. So uh, right from the the start, I wanted to do some, uh, you know, original research of my own. Uh, my greatest inspiration is Albert Einstein. Uh, and th th that's what attracted me to science in the first place. And as you know, uh, IITs are the best institutes in India if you want to excel in engineering and science. So that was my prime motivation to study for IIT. Uh, but one thing I would say is that do not make IIT your motivation. Uh, that should not be there because IIT is just a step in your life. It's not your life. Uh, so th that is very important. Your motivation should come from within you. It, it should not be a materialistic thing. Like for me, uh, I want to do some research. I want to contribute to the society. And that should happen even if I do not get into IIT. Uh, that sort of motivation should keep you because if you keep IIT as your motivation, uh, it will sort of degrade you uh, or demotivate you uh, because you know things don't go as we plan. That's the only thing I want to say. Yes, want to add, Mr. Rajagopal? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, please. Uh, my motivating factors, as I said, like I was amazed by the literally, I was amazed by the campus just because in starting, I wanted to get into IIT just because it's campus, as well as uh, I shouldn't say this, but IIT has less rules and regulations when compared to other colleges. You won't have to follow most of the rules and regulations, and as well as this is the most prestigious institute. and Seriously, that's the reason why I wanted to get into IIT. I know it's a little bit like it's not a very good reason, but it was the motivating and reason for me, motivating factor as well as a reason for me. Uh, OK, uh, what about uh, Mr. Kartikeyan? Uh, pretty much the same. I actually was lazy like uh, uh, Paul, so I wanted to have a nice life for the next four years. So. I thought, why not work hard for the first two years? <laughs> OK, nice. Uh, what about uh, Mr. Kirtan? Yeah. Actually, I thought my opinion is that uh, IITs uh, give us more freedom to learn whatever we want. And you know, we can do whatever we want in the IITs. That is the main motivation for me to join this. Uh. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. The, I will uh, read out the next question. Uh, what is the mindset required on exam day? Like, you what? should not fear about the outcome. You should ju just give your test. Whether it is like you clear it or not, you pass the cutoff or not, you get a seat in IIT or not, whatever it is, you should just give your best on the day. Like, have a clear mind, okay? Think it as a, a class test, which is being conducted by your professor, uh, by your staff. Don't get, uh, like, don't even have fear in your mind. If you have fear, you will definitely mess up. Uh, anyone else want to add to that? Uh, and one more thing. This is something I personally use during my own exam. Uh, more like a mindset, like a strategy. So, as Kitan, like so many of us told, like you have to always solve the questions which come to you first, and then solve those which don't come to you next. Like if you do that, I'm telling you, trust me, you'll save a lot and lot of time. Because when you're doing that, it's your mind subconsciously thinks about those questions which you are leaving behind. So next time you're trying to attempt, you'll have a better solving rate. Yeah. Okay. 
the next uh, question is could you tell us materials for preparation so uh, for uh, j mains uh, i would recommend uh, ncert like for chemistry just blindly follow ncert whatsoever uh, whatever is there uh, for physics uh, i uh, you know i uh, think uh, read through had a resnick book but it is not necessary that that was a uh, extra um, you read through hc verma and make sure that you solve the problems on your own um, as i said you should not know the solution the solution should uh, come through you or the solution should emerge from a discussion that you are having only then you will learn the essence of the problem so uh, try to grasp the essence or you know try to grasp the soul of each problem so each uh, so model or each uh, problem has its own soul and has it the ncert should be must read sir the ncert is the must for chemistry and in mains uh, many direct questions are also asked from directly from ncert also in advance it is very important that you have to read ncert for chemistry and a little more from other reference books if you have those uh, and for physics as rujan said hc or my is a must and must book everyone use and if you want more practice you can also practice dc pandey also and try to do the subject to questions in dc pandey they are really good if you do them on their own you can boost up your confidence and the most important is try solving the previous je questions they are the most important they play the most important role in building your confidence that's uh, and, I, and also previous year questions also appear in the je exams most of the times when i wrote j exam around 2 to 3 previous year questions appeared in my exam papers which gave me a head start so using previous year papers will definitely benefit you in one way or the other uh, okay. i would like to also add what not to do okay so i had this batchmate okay he used to do a lot of problems <laughs> so those the, uh, there is a pretty hardcore physics book okay but what happened was the the actual exam that guy said so what i'm telling you is um, we have something called your level okay never go uh, like too above it try improving your level step by step but never try to jump okay in tamil there is a palam less a proverb called varal ketha vikam like you should never try to go above your you can set your limits high you have to reach it slowly okay never try reaching it in one step okay so this day only did it okay he used to put some scene in the class so he used to ask sir all those problems and then you know in the actual day of exam that guy scored the least of all physics marks in the whole class so what i'm telling you is you need to have a practical approach towards doing the problems in the exam you do you know okay so most of the questions from you know were long so yeah you learn some good concepts but you learn at least slow solving in actual exam you need fast and speed solving so that thing you won't learn so let's take a minute book is hc verma for physics and uh, fix my time table for day to day basis and long term time table how does fix my time table for day to day basis and long term time table it depends on the individual sir mm. I, nobody can answer it for them like mm. we don't know their strengths and their weaknesses they oh. have to plan it according to their strengths and their weaknesses and the time which they can allot for studying mm. so no other individual can comment on these yeah uh, that you mean to say that there is no such thing called as a fixed time table right uh, yes. yes which will be suitable for every everyone no nothing will be suitable for everyone so so they have to access their strength and their weakness accordingly they have to fix their time focus no, more times on your weaknesses yeah yeah yes uh, after fixing that they have to highlight uh, they have to focus on their weakness area they have to give more time towards improving their weaknesses and they can devote less time on the on the area where they are strong so like no, sir, that that's they shouldn't do like my uh, my teachers were, were like make your weaker subject good and your stronger strong subject strongest so strong. you shouldn't neglect your strong subject you should good, good. devote the same time to the strong subject 
but also you shouldn't neglect the weak subject just because you don't get okay okay uh, anyone else want to add uh, i would add uh, one thing yeah, sir please. Yeah, so please. Uh, there's a long term goal that you have to cover everything in the syllabus and you have to prepare accordingly to the exam uh, but in order to achieve that make short term goals and you know derive a some sort of satisfaction in accomplishing these short term goals sir in long run that, that would do uh, to be useful do not try to you know like one day you are reading for 20 hours the next day you just skipped up do not try to uh, mess things up uh, make regular short term goals try to achieve them it would just be like playing some game uh, you won't get bored in that otherwise you know gt field syllabus people tend to get bored easily yeah Oh, okay, Sujan. Uh, shall I move to the next question? Yeah. I got 94% percentile. Shall I get NIT Trichy, any department? NIT Warankal or NIT Suratka? Uh, I think... So, uh, we have already addressed it in the chat box. Oh, you yeah, already given the answer for that. Okay, anyhow. Uh, I think, uh, see, uh, I think one Mr. Reva has answered that question. Uh, dear Mr. Reva, we will be having... Uh, a series of uh, program uh, for you, uh, Jay Aspens. Uh, one uh, exclusive program we'll have uh, regarding the uh, marks uh, for wh what is the cutoff mark for a different institution, what is the cutoff, last year cutoff mark for a different NIPs, what is the last year cutoff mark for different IIPs. Like that, we'll have an exclusive program that uh, you can attend and you'll get more information regarding this. The next uh, question. Uh, one more question. End of each unit. So I solve previous year question papers like 2019, 20, and 21. Yes, sir. They can solve for sure. It's a very good yeah. practice also. Yes, always they will have a more, uh, uh, what I can say, when they do a lot of uh, practice by solving the previous year questions, they will gain more uh, knowledge, right? Yes. So it is always advisable to solve the previous year JE question papers. And my suggestion is that uh, till now they will be in objective mind, like uh, giving the exam in an objective pattern. But now they have made everything numericals only. Okay. So it's better to practice some more subjective questions for that. That mm -hmm. then they will become easy while attempting the exam. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I would add uh, one small thing to that. That's like after practicing previous G questions unit wise, uh, when you completed your entire uh, preliminary, like, uh, you know, sort of uh, preparation, when you're in the revision mode, I would suggest that you take a year's paper, like you take a J 2019 paper and write it as a mock test. Uh, that would give you all the combinations of easy, medium, and hard questions that appeared in that particular year. So uh, that would be uh, helpful. Uh, okay. Uh, the next question is, can an average student crack JEE in two months? Is it possible? For J, I have already answered that, sir. For J mains, it is possible, sir, if he is really passionate. And for J advance, he, he has to work really very, very hard, sir. Because in two months means it's somewhat less time for J advance preparation. He has to work hard. Okay. okay. Two months is like revi revising for J advance. You can't study it in two months. Yes. Okay. And applying the pra while practicing the more problems, we apply those formulas regularly so that we no need to mug up them. They will automatically get entered into our brain. That's. Yeah. Uh, anyone else want to add to Mr. Kirtan? Uh, actually, what he told is pretty much practical because I was like this arrogant guy. I never mugged up any formula. I thought everything and do the exam. Okay. So we're giving the first mock test for J means it backfired on my face. We, we, because many of us, you know, they were using formulas, but after two minutes, three to four problems, they finish. But 
don't remember formulas you will suffer like anything for je means for advanced that's not the case advanced you need to know the formulas and you need to know how to derive them also because most of the time the last questions we need to make a small tweak in the formulas and then you'll get the answer so for advanced deriving and the concept is important but for mains remembering the formulas is pretty much what is needed Uh, okay, Mr. Kipen. Uh, so, next question is: What are the entrance exams beyond KVPY and JE? So uh, there are many, like BitSat, SNU SAT, uh, BitSat, MIT entrance, like many different exams. Uh, many private institutes are there, which has a good name in like world level good name, hmm. like SNU in Delhi. The entrance exam for it is SNU SAT and MIT, you have MIT entrance as well as uh, Bits Pilani, Goa, Hyderabad, you have Bits Hat. And also you have TNEA. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I would uh, like to add. Yes, uh, I would like to add. So for sciences, there are some institutes like ISRs uh, and IISC, uh, but these are hardcore research based institutes. So if you are interested in research, then only uh, you apply to these. And uh, for maths, there's this uh, institute known as ISI, Indian Statistical Institute. Uh, these are also uh, very good institutes, uh, and it has its own entrance exam, so you can give those ones. Yeah, and I would like to add one thing. I said uh, entrance exams are actually good and a little easier than JE exams. Okay, let's try giving them. Yeah, 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 yes. Uh, rightly said by our panelists, uh, plenty, plenty number of exams are being conducted. So you just go through uh, which one will be good for you or which, which will be uh, you can uh, crack easily. Uh, like that, you can select a few entrance exam and you can start uh, preparing for that and you can uh, uh, succeed in that also. Okay. Uh, so any more questions? Uh, just let me check. I think uh, that's all. Okay, so dear participants, I hope uh, all our four panelists have cleared all your doubts and uh, they have given enough and enough amount of uh, suggestions and tips for cracking your JE exams. I hope with the inputs you got from today's program, you can continue your preparation and you can appear for your JE minds and as well as JE advanced. On behalf of Chennai Sub Technology, I would like to uh, uh, express my sincere thanks to all the four panelists who have spared their valuable time uh, in uh, telling their journey in JE and also telling a lot of suggestions. I also would like to uh, express my sincere thanks to all the participants who have participated uh, in today's uh, program and also I wish you all a great success in your JE examinations. So once again I would I, I want to uh, say about the coding a workshop that we are planning to conduct for the plus one and plus two students and many of the participants have requested for the link for the workshop yes uh, we will be sending you the link your, your, your details are there in our database so through that we will be uh, sending the link for particip participating in that workshop so next week as i said earlier we are planning to conduct uh, one mock exam uh, not only one mock exam series of mock exams for the je uh, mains and as well as J advance i request all of you to register and take up the exam and get a benefit out of it so that comes the end of the program so exactly uh, we have completed this program by one hour we have started at 10 and uh, exactly we are closing it by 11. i'll see you in uh, next week program uh, thanks for joining with us i'm uh, signing off from all of you thank you very much thank you